Hey guys, Greg Denny. I'm here in beautiful Austria. And the other day we were, we were driving up this road and there, this, this young woman was riding this unbelievable horse. This, just this massive, gorgeous black horse. I mean, you're one of the gigantic muscular ones. And, and I don't know enough about horses to know what breed it was, but kind of like one of those, the Belgian ones I've seen is really big. And I, I was so impressed by it. It was such, such beauty, such majesty. And it was so obedient and she was just rolling along, you know, and just with a little bit of the reins, just guiding this, this mass of power. Oh, so incredible. And it, and it reminded me, we were studying the other day with, with a couple of my mentees, this great principle about the power of our desires. And I thought about that. With the reins, you can just pull the reins slightly to stop or to turn. And, and all this potential, all this power, all this mass, right, of speed and strength is controlled by the reins. And I thought, oh, it just, it, it just connected with me. Our desires are, are that powerful. What you truly desire, and it's not necessarily what we say or, you know, kind of what, what comes and goes, but really deep in, our true desires lead our lives like the reins of an animal. Or even there's a martial arts principle that where the head goes, the body follows. So if you redirect the head, the, the body follows, right? And, and that's the case with our desires. What we desire is, is where we go. Think about that, how powerful that principle is in your life. What it is you truly desire will always be manifest in your life. I believe the universe does that, life does that, God does that. God will grant us according to our desires, whether they're good or evil. Okay, we, and, and I know that's kind of sobering and hard to think about, but it's so true. It's the law of expectation. It's the law of manifestation, or what some have called the law of attraction. We really bring into our lives that which we truly desire. Think about it. If you desire phenomenal health, but you also desire sweets, <laughs> and a lot of food or, or maybe junk food or fast food, which one is it? Which one do you want most? And, and, and your, your, our actions, your actions, your habits prove what your true desires are. You might talk all day long about how you want to be fit and healthy and skinny and, and eat well and have energy, but if you're eating crap, then what's your true desire? It's it's on the tongue and not the body. It's the same with a great education. Do you want to sleep in? You know, because uh, what, what do you do more consistently? Do you sleep in or do you get up early and study? Do you watch more TV or read more great books? Right? Do you gossip more or have phenomenal conversations? Again, it's our desires. Whatever it is we truly desire comes out in our life. So if you want to change your life, or if you want to help somebody else change your life, maybe there's someone that you know, you really want to help them change. This is the key. You have to help them change their true desires. If you want to change your life, you have to change your desires. Because deep down, those really core desires, and you have to want it so bad that you're willing to do whatever it takes. You're willing to overcome the obstacles and challenges. You're willing to make uncomfortable changes. You're willing to to make those sacrifices that are necessary for greatness. So if you'll change your desires or someone you want to help, help them change their desires in such a powerful way, it literally will transform life. So examine yourself. This is my challenge to you. Examine your true desires and change them. And you might be like, well, how? First, we start with our endophagia, how we talk to ourselves, the, what we think, what we really want. And we start having that change of heart. We're, okay, you know what I really, truly want? I want a phenomenal marriage. And so I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, to have a great marriage. I want to raise incredible children. I really do. That's my purest desire. And if I want it bad enough, do I sacrifice other things that are keeping me from that. Even bad habits or distractions or other pursuits. Maybe it's a selfish pursuit. What do you want most? What do you desire most? And you feed your desires, okay? And, and oh, it's, isn't this awesome? It's so exciting. 
you feed that desire too by what you read, your input, what you watch, what you see, what you think about, what kind of conversations you have, whose lives are you emulating, you know, what what are you really looking at and, and desiring. And, and you feed that desire, okay? So you can feed the good or the bad. But I promise whichever one you feed is going to win. So here's what I would invite you to do. Take some time today and write out. What is it you truly desire? It might be easy for you to say, or for some of you might be like, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm not real clear. What is it you really, truly, deep down desire? And what, what should it be? What are your elevated desires? Write down this idea. What, what would be the, the best idea for your whole life, every aspect of your life? And then measure that against what it is you're really desiring. Some of you might, you know, you might want to spend time just watching the sports or playing games or some hobby or some frivolous thing is what, you, what your current desire is. But really, you're like, you know what? No, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get to my end of my life and be like, what did I do? What did I do that mattered? Right? And so start feeding the right desire until it is so strong and so powerful, it literally, like the reins of a powerful horse, will control and direct and guide your life so that God and, and the world and the universe and life grants you those desires, but they're, 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 the, they're the right ones, right? So get a clear vision of what it is you should desire and then feed it and grow it until what you truly want in your heart and in your mind is all the best things for yourself and for those around you. And as you want that and you want it strong enough, you'll be drawn to it. You'll do what it takes. And I promise, guess what? You'll have it. And so will the people you love if you and they will foster and feed the right desires. You can do it. Go out and, and make it happen. Create the life that you love on your terms. Reach upward.